The University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science Hornpoint Oyster Hatchery is located on the Choptank River in Cambridge, Maryland, and is one of the largest hatcheries on the East Coast. Our purpose is to produce oyster larvae and spat to support oyster restoration and private public fisheries. Oysters are a vital part of the Chesapeake Bay, providing ecological and economic benefits. Oysters are considered a keystone species. Oysters filter the water, create habitat, produce offspring providing future generations, and stabilize shorelines. Economically, they provide food and livelihoods for Maryland watermen and oyster farmers. Once prolific in the Chesapeake Bay, oyster populations are now at 1% of historic levels. The number of oysters in the bay has declined dramatically over the last few decades for many reasons, but large-scale restoration and aquaculture efforts are underway to reestablish healthy populations. A coalition of partners, the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science, Hornpoint Laboratory, Oyster Recovery Partnership, Maryland Department of Natural Resources, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are working cooperatively to ensure restoration and aquaculture efforts succeed in Maryland's portion of the Chesapeake Bay. The Hornpoint Oyster Hatchery is the starting point for the entire restoration process and for the supply of larvae to oyster farmers. The hatchery's skilled team executes a series of steps to produce oysters to deposit on restoration sites and for farmers to populate their aquaculture leases. The following information describes the oyster production process for restoration and public fishery projects. Broodstock oysters are one of the unsung heroes in the hatchery, as these will be the parents for the future baby oysters. Pulled from the wild in winter months, these adult oysters are held in carefully controlled systems where hot and or cold water from the Choptank River is used to mimic springtime water temperatures, encouraging the oysters to get ready to reproduce. Oyster reproduction is an amazing process where all fertilization takes place external to the oyster in the water column. Once adult oysters are ready to spawn or reproduce, they are placed on a table where warm water flows over them to simulate summer conditions. Females release eggs in a puff, while males release sperm in a continuous stream into the water. Staff remove the spawning oysters from the table and place them into a bucket to collect the eggs and sperm. Once the eggs are fertilized, they begin to develop into larvae or baby oysters. These larvae are transferred to large tanks to grow out to the point they are ready to attach to oyster shells. Oyster larvae are grown in large 10,000 gallon tanks and swim freely, developing for the next 14 to 21 days. During this time, the larvae are eating and growing. They are fed a carefully blended diet of essential food or algae. Algae is phytoplankton microscopic plants that supply the nutritional requirements the larvae need to grow while they are swimming in the tanks. The Hornpoint Hatchery grows four main species of algae to offer the larvae a well-balanced diet. Larvae are fed four to six times a day with our state-of-the-art automated feeding system. As the larvae consume the algae, they excrete waste products so water changes are performed to maintain optimal conditions. Once mature, approximately 14 days old, larvae develop an eye spot and a foot, indicating they will soon be ready to attach to a hard substrate. Larvae are drained from the giant growing tanks and sorted by size. Not all larvae grow at the same rate. The larger, more mature larvae can be removed from the swimming culture, bundled into a coffee filter, and introduced into a setting system for either restoration or aquaculture projects. The smaller larvae go back into tanks to continue to grow until they are mature. A large pier extending out onto the Choptank River houses 52 setting tanks. Each tank holds about 100,000 clean host oyster shells. Mature larvae are introduced into these setting tanks and allowed to attach to the hard substrate, oyster shell, and metamorphose. Larvae get one shot at this process. Their future depends on attaching to one of the shells in these tanks. After about 48 hours, most of the larvae have glued themselves to the shell. They can no longer swim and are referred to as spat. Once a tank of spat on shell has grown in ambient natural conditions for a week, the spat in the tank are ready to be transferred to their final planting site. 
tanks are unloaded, the spat on shell transported onto a boat, and eventually deployed overboard on the oyster bar. Oyster bars are either for restoration or for harvest to market by watermen. As the largest oyster hatchery on the eastern seaboard, the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science, Horn Point Oyster Hatchery, and its partners are working hard to restore the oyster population of the bay to a sustainable level. From spawning to spat, the hatchery grows billions of larvae annually to return to the bay through oyster farming, restoration sanctuaries, and public fisheries. All of these efforts benefit the ecological health of the bay and the fisheries economy. Oysters filter water, improving water quality, build reefs as they grow upon themselves, providing habitat for a diverse community of marine life, and are a nutritious food source. The metamorphosis of a fertilized egg to a set spat is one of nature's great feats and a daily endeavor for the hatchery. <laughs>